In this demonstration, we're going to show how you can automatically run tests on your vehicle powertrain and document the results. Developing a vehicle powertrain can involve iteration, where you come up with a design change, test that change, evaluate the results of those tests, and come up with a new change. The step where you run the test and evaluate the results can require a lot of time. We would like to accelerate that step. We will show how you can use Simulink Report Generator to automatically document those tests and the results. We will use a model of a dual clutch transmission. Using Simulink Report Generator, we will automatically run those tests and include plots, screenshots of the model, pieces of code, and other valuable pieces of information into a document. I will now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here is an example of a report produced by the Simulink Report Generator. We automatically generated this report as we were testing our vehicle powertrain. Here you can see some MATLAB code, screenshots from the Simscape driveline model, screenshots of the state flow model that controls the changing of the gears, plots from the scopes, and a table summarizing the results. I'll show you how we automatically generated this report. Here is the model that we're working with. It is a dual clutch transmission that has clutches and gears in order to implement the transmission, vehicle dynamics, and a transmission controller. The Simulink report generator interface looks like this. You graphically assemble the structure of your report by dragging and dropping elements into it. When you're finished configuring the report, you can simply run it. It will automatically e execute any of the MATLAB code you've entered, and we use that MATLAB code to set up our tests. We are going to run cycles 6 and 7, and we will generate report short 1. So I'll click on the lightning bolt, and we will get started. So the first test is being run, and we can see that we are running drive cycle 6, which is a simple wide open throttle test. At the conclusion of the test, the report generator will take screenshots of the scopes and portions of the model if necessary and then it will set up test 2. In test 2 we are running drive cycle number 7 so you can see it is transitioning through different gears as it follows a velocity profile. At the conclusion of the test it takes more screenshots and then assembles the report. So this is short 1, the report that we just created and you can see we have again MATLAB code, screenshots and the simulation results all the way down at the bottom. Now that I've created this report if I had new iterations on my design that I wanted to run through a certain set of tests and evaluate those results, I could simply modify the model, rerun this, and the results of those tests would automatically be documented in a report. That report can be shared with other people and can be created in various formats.